everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Scruff. Thank you. Thank you. Scruffy, what have you been up to since the last time you saw the kids? You had a good Christmas? Oh, that's wonderful, Scruffy. Did you celebrate Jesus' birthday? Oh, that's great. Me too, me too. What else, Scruffy? Oh, you've been getting ready for the new year. Well, what does that mean, Scruffy? How have you been getting ready for the new year? You've set some goals and made some intentions. Oh, very good, Scruffy. A lot of people do that. That is not uncommon. This is a wonderful time of year for new beginnings. Scruffy, what have you set as a goal or an intention in the new year? Oh, you're going to be a little more careful with these things right here, this little bag of treats. What does that mean, Scruffy, that you're going to be more careful? You're not going to gobble them all up at once? No. One at a time? Yeah. Ration them out, right, Scruffy? Okay, good. I think we all want to try to ration out our treats. Scruffy, I see a leash here. What does this mean? What is that intention about? You're going to take walks? And get outside. Oh, good idea. Good idea. That's probably better than sitting inside all the time. It's good to get fresh air and exercise. Those are good intentions. Scruffy, I also see you have a Bible here. You have my Bible here, Scruff. What does this intention mean? Why do you have a Bible? You want to spend more time with Jesus, with God. Yeah, that's great. And this is God's word. So I can read this to you. We can talk about it. And we can spend time praying over it and praying for others as well. Well, Scruffy, those are all good goals and intentions. But Scruffy, the Bible actually can give us some good examples and some good advice on setting goals and intentions. The Bible can guide us to what's most important. So let's talk about that. In the Old Testament, King Solomon started out a new beginning as he began his reign after his father David died. He started out really well, just like a lot of people start out their new year really, really well. He asked God for wisdom and God was pleased and gave him wisdom and gave him much, much more, more than he could have asked or imagined. But Solomon didn't love God with his whole heart, and soon he started to go after other gods and disappointed God, and things didn't go so well for him anymore. He didn't keep his good intentions or his goals. In the New Testament, we hear another example, and that example is Jesus himself. When Jesus was a boy, the Bible tells us that he grew in strength, he grew strong and he grew in wisdom. Yeah, and the favor of God was upon him. Did you know Jesus never made any mistakes? That's right. Even one time when he stayed back in Jerusalem after his parents had headed home, he was in his father's house. He chose what was most important. His goal was good and his focus was pleasing to God. But he did go home and obey his parents, which is also a good goal. Scruffy, God gave Solomon everything he needed to rule God's people well. All he had to do was love God with his whole heart and obey him. But Solomon started making poor choices, chasing after other gods not loving God with his whole heart, and things did not go well for him after that. God tells us in Ephesians through the Apostle Paul that he has given us everything we need, every spiritual blessing that we need to do his will, all that would bring glory to God. He has sealed us with his promised Holy Spirit. He's given us a new beginning through Jesus our Savior. Because Jesus died on a cross to pay for our sins and rose again to conquer death, all of us who believe have that new beginning, and we are God's forever adopted children. And God has special purposes for each one of us. 
He gives us the spiritual blessings we need to do his will. But he wants us to love him with our whole heart. He wants us to follow after him. So as we set our goals and intentions for the new year and work to keep them, the most important is to love God with our whole heart. And everything else, Scruffy, will fall into place.